So, we bought a bigger, larger Alpura. Weighs about 60 pounds. Really too big for Elena or I to kind of lean over with. So, what we need is a lifting crane. And that is what we're going to build. So, the basic thing of it, we really wanted to do it without any new stuff. So, we've kind of uh, just reused stuff that we already have. Uh, so if you're going to have a crane, you need some kind of a spar. And we're going to use our nice ash pole here. So I made a piece of rope here with a high eye splice on it. So I'm happy for that word. And we've attached it to one of the cleats. It's basically the same kind of thing you would use on, on a uh, sprit rig. A snotter, they would call it on a sprit rig. But in this case, uh, instead of holding up the mast, we're going to hold up our little boom piece. Okay, so here's a better picture of the snotter. So you can see um, the boat hook just kind of fits into the eye splice, and I have a little um, safety line there just to make sure it doesn't slip out. Not that it would really. And on the other end, we have the halyard, the mizzen halyard, uh, going down to the end of the pole. So it's actually attached to a, um, it has an eye at the end of the, at the pole there. And then the, the end of the halyard here, which is kind of slack, uh, we just used as a, I'm going to use it as a safety line just in case something seriously goes wrong. We can always just hoist it back aboard again, which would really be a bummer, but I don't think that's going to happen. All right, so we got the basic thing, a pole with the halyard holding it up and the snotter holding it at one end. But we don't want it to go back and forth this way, so we're going to add two fore and aft lines. All right, so now we have two fore and aft lines that prevent it from wiggling too much one way or the other. So now we have a kind of a topping lift and two fore and aft lines, kind of like rigging a whisker pole for example. So for this case we've just used our, uh, our uh, what do you call these? The preventers is what we use for our preventers. So again reusing something we already have. All right so now the final bit is attaching the actual motor to the spar here, our little crane. So this is uh, one thing we had to buy, or we chose to buy anyway, which is a uh, kind of a cradle for the engine. It, it's a system of straps designed for exactly this. You kind of clip them onto the engine, and uh, it's very, very, very strong. I'm really impressed with this little piece of hardware. It doesn't want to move. It's very tight, and it really gives you a, a secure feeling. It's got all kind, you know, it's very heavy webbing. It's made by, this one is made by Easy Lift, outboard motor tote. I think there's a couple of different ones, but uh, this one fit the uh, Yamaha perfectly, so that's what we went with. And then I have a block and tackle here, which I made up specifically for this purpose. So I've got eye splices to make it strong. On both ends, it's a basically a three times block and tackle. So make it very easy to lift the 60 pounds, and then to attach the block and tackle to the spar, uh, we need some kind of a, a knot to do that. And um, what we found was something called a boom hitch, which is a hitch used to attach a rope to a boom, which is exactly what we're doing. All right, so that's pretty super secure knot and we have never done this before so um, this is our first trial go at this and uh, Alina's a little fretful but uh, I'm fairly confident this is gonna work that Dyneema by the way that that pink rope so it's super strong even though it doesn't look it and then we have a wire halyard so everything should be pretty darn good and we have like eight ropes attached to this thing, so 
one way or the other it's coming back on the boat all right so we didn't have a third crew to uh, take a video but you can see that the engine is now on the boat voila and basically what we did was we used the block and tackle to lift it off of the rail and then we just kind of gently lowered it i i, I was doing the lowering and then uh, helena was there and she just turned it and i lowered it onto the bracket she tightened it up that was it so very little a lot of setup but once you do it it's uh nice and easy so there we go that, i would call that a success so there is our there is our lifting crane there made out of bits we mainly had around except for the the uh, harness for the engine and uh, worked perfectly.